Hello and today I'm going to show you how to make a block stopper. Now, um, I know for a fact you'll need two sticky pistons, um, just get a stack of redstone, some torches and whatever blocks you want to switch. It can be cell sand, it can be whatever. Um, be conscious of whatever level you want this to be on. So basically, I'm going to just get some bricks and wood, I mean planks, and finally a lever. Now, um, these are the blocks that will be swapped and these blocks are the ones that will decorate the room. It doesn't matter what they are, they just need to work. So first, you're probably going to want to imagine somewhere in your room like this. This will be where the blocks get swapped and this will be... Oh, uh, yeah. This will be what you press to swap the blocks and this will be where they get swapped. So you're going to want to just make this go down to the level and you're going to want to have this pushed so soul sand so basically uh, that's it tutorial over no just kidding uh, so then you're going to want to do this Remember to have it on. So look, the redstone porch isn't activated. And I'm just going to test that to make sure. Yeah. So, have it a bit like, remember it has to line up to exactly what you want it to and then press this so it'll hide and then oh dear folks it appears we have a little bit of a problem now let's see what the problem is I genuinely don't know what's happening. Ah, it gets stuck under there. So basically, make sure there's nothing they can escape to, otherwise they will escape. Wait a second. Uh Looks like I'm distorting the wall. And I mean I mean floor. So Okay, this could not be in a I see what's happening it's just pushing too much so if you want to avoid the pushings happening you might want to make it so hard you can't actually have it pushed because if the wall's not big enough the block swapper will just end up pushing everything but if the wall is like this well uh it still can't push as well. 
Where's this going? Because when I first did this, it was a secret base with a player pig Yoshi, but it was underground, so you'll probably have to do this underground too. Yeah, so just make sure, because these pistons are really strong, um, they will push a lot of blocks. Like, and they can only take back one. So they can push loads, but only take back one. So, it'll have to look a bit like this. So you won't be able to do it in like some secluded hut in the middle of nowhere. It'll have to be from like underground. So there you have it. I'm going on the holiday, so no more videos for a bit. And then it's back to school, but that will slow down my updates because stay in school, kids, but unless i get one trillion pieces of homework yeah so there you have it now i'm just going to build a little to showcase it now the reason i chose those two specific blocks was mainly because of the fact uh they're the ones used for bubbling because so there you have it. Hey, yo, what? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I destroyed loads of that. That was silly of me. I should not have done that. So yeah, there you have it. An amazing working block swapper. You could also use this like in a bumper jumper video of, oh, this isn't my design. I haven't got it from everywhere, but it's simple wet redstone. Very simple redstone. I'm just spreading the message. People have obviously made this before. I'm not the first because this is simple. I'm just teaching you how to do it. Goodbye.